Okay, Kelly Bandalos here of kellybandalos.com. Um, we're doing part two of drawing a face. So what we're going to be doing now is we've laid out the face and um, we've customized it according to the grid, but um, there's different customizations because a nose is longer, the eyes are higher, the chin is longer, and so that's what we're working on now. This is our basic um, uh, rendering, if you will, of this particular person. Now what I want to do is I want to talk about planing things out and um, finding your angles on things. So. I'm going to change the color of my paper a little bit here just to give us more um, so we have lights and darks. we could show lights and darks. So we're going to do a medium gray colored paper so we can do a light area and a dark area. So um, we're going to go with a little bit darker on where the shadow lines would be basically on it. So um, getting a little bit closer to this eye and looking at our our eye is, um, we have to remember that in an eye, let me draw a real quick thing down here, we have in the skeletal structure, we have this big, um, we have a hole, we have a hole in the eye, right here is a hole, and inside of that hole, get a little bit bigger, is where the eye goes, right in here, this is where the eyeball fits in. And all around here is muscles and attachments. And in here is the iris, okay? So attached to that, let's go with a lighter color so we can see that, is the skin. So here's that little area in the middle, right in the corner of the eye, the eye where the tear ducts are. So there's a lot of business that goes on inside of there. So let's look at um, how that skin then is stretching over. That's how an eye is created to look like an eye. So when you're drawing a person's eye, consider all the structure that's going on inside of it. So you're basically good at the eye. It is a round eyeball, so it's going around it. So you have a rounded effect. So how that skin goes over that person's eye depends on where the person's eye is fitted, depends on where there are certain breaks in the skin. And that's why some eyes go like this, and some eyes go like this, and some eyes go slopey down. It just depends on the person's eye. So you'll have this, and then and then you'll have the underneath the skin, like under here, and all of this is connective tissues in here. That's why if you look at an eye, it's really rounded in there. But we see this oval or this um, almond shape, okay, because it's really connected at these points, okay? And that's why there's a crease under, and that's why you have an eyelid over it, because it's, this part comes down more than this part goes up. So you're going to have more eyelid up on the top than you have on the bottom because this eyelid drops down like that. Okay? So this is what is creating that that form of an eye and it's important to um, remember that as you're drawing an eye. Just try to remember all of that when you're drawing that person's eye. So as we're drawing this eye, we're going to, let's just kind of do it in a, in a little bit of a darker blue. And here's the corner of the eye. And the corner of his eye is just a little bit beyond, if his nose is down here like that, it's a little bit beyond that. It's a little bit right, a little bit beyond it. And it goes up and down like that. Okay? And his bottom of his eyelid is not really straight across because it is round. Remember, you have an eyeball in there. But it's kind of, it goes up, around the eyeball, and straight, okay? So that's what his eye's doing. And remember, there's a layer of skin, and inside of skin is other layers of things. So, you know, understanding the, the body and how that body is in there, there's this, you know, there's an area under here. There's like a little, more than, you know, the thickness of the skin. So consider the thickness of the skin. His eyelid, doesn't really follow his eye, it cuts across here like this and goes like that, and then drops out. And his eyebrow is right about here, like that, okay? His eyeball, the iris, is like, like that, okay? And we'll talk about how to render an eyeball in another thing, because that's another really great thing to learn how to render eyeballs. It's really important because, you know, 
the depth of a person is through their eyes. So it's very important to learn how to draw and the little tricks of catching that eyeball just right. It's very important. Okay, so this is basically, and he has this. He's a little bit under here, but it's not, it's not a direct um, lap. It's just a little rendering, a little suggestion because his eyelid comes down more than his bottom eyelid comes up. So that's how that works. Um, on the other side, let's look at the other side, because the other eye is just a little bit different. Is it different because his head is tilted maybe a little bit? It's very possible. Um, so his, again, his, the corner of this eye is actually right here above the, above the edge of his nostril. And here's the edge over here. And so this eye, this eyeball and how, it, how this is going around his eyeball is a little different than the other one. Okay? And then you have more feeling around this like this. Okay? And again, his iris is pretty big in there. And, and we could talk about creating the negative spaces in there also because the white part in here This white part creates its own negative space. So in a lot of ways, it's important to render that negative space as much as it is. And this side is very bright. And this is really just a little bit, so you're gonna have to adjust that. That's the, the negative spaces balance you out when you aren't drawing that eyeball just right. So let's get back to our dark, darker color. And um, create that other side of his eye. Um, his eyelid is going right about here, and this eyelid comes down. So you see it kind of gather up on the corner a little bit, if you will. And then like that. And his, this has got more shadow right here. A little bit more shadow on this side, like. So you see, now you're seeing where that eyeball is in there. Um, and his eyebrow on this side, the heaviest part of his eyebrow is really right here above his um, iris. Okay, so that's that. And then let's talk about creating the shadow lines in there and the planes. So obviously the depth of this, um, the inside of where this eye is setting in, there's a bone right here in a skeleton. So you'll have this, this is creating like this, but there's a bone right here. There's a big hole in a person's face right here around the nose. This is all cartilage right here. Um, that's why when you break your nose, you could be disconnecting the cartilage. So, um, so this is a bone right here. Let's get all that out of there. And now we have to remember how that all connects. So for him, he's connecting, connects pretty straight, pretty straight nose, right down to the tip. And he also has, um, so then you create a triangle, really, where the planes are of the nose. So this is all. And, on, and inside of the eye socket in there. Now when you're drawing this, there's a lot of things that are changing in here. Um, the way the light's hitting this particular corner of the eye creates different, different shadows, different reflections. Um, the, there's generally a hollowing right here. And there's generally, and there is on this person, a hollowing right here. And there's a hollowing right here. Now think about all the skin, all of the skin going over that skeletal structure like we talked about before. There's a skeleton right here, and that's basically what it's doing. Um, if we're creating a hard line, you know, we create a hard line, dark hard line. You know, and as we draw, of course, we lighten it, we minimize it, we change that a lot. And the ear, the ear kind of, you know, drawing an ear is a whole nother game. You know, um, when I'm drawing a face, generally the ears are rendered. They're just a hint of it. You know, I don't draw fingernails or eyelashes or detailed things like that. I try to just hint at it. Um, I mean, unless you're doing a, a realistic portrait, if you're just rendering somebody that you're drawing, it's just... A suggestion. So um, that's just a suggestion. Hair, darken that up. And so you've created your planes now. So you have 
under the eye, this is your eye socket plane. So if you think about that, here's your eye socket plane. Here's your eye socket plane. This is, this is in, set in. His, his eye is in, deep here, under here, and he has, this is where his eye socket is. On the other side, he has a very strong brow um, bone, bridge of his nose right here. That'll be hit with highlights. But right now, for the low lights, we're just going to create the depth of his eye right there. And for this situation, it's going to be like that. He has a, a because the high the, the the lights on this particular picture are coming from this end. You know, we're just going to be careful about you know representing the planes too much. But that's basically where this is. Again, he has his brow line. He has his uh, cheekbone there, and so. Um, this is basically representing how I would start with an eye. So um, we're going to go on to the next video and we're going to talk about the mouth and the nose um, and how that can be represented and how you are going to pick up different plans on the eye and the nose. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Follow me to the next one and subscribe.